guys, Ace Face back with another video for you. And today I've got a Tyranny Tactics video and I'm going to do some advice from Hive Mind. Today I'm going to look at a formation, one of the newer formation, um, which is the um, Sky Tyrant Swarm formation. Um, not to be confused with the Skyblight formation, which is very well known from now and is a very competitive formation. So the Sky Tyrant Swarm is a formation that consists of a Hive Tyrant, has to be flying, and two units of Gargoyles that combine to make one unit. So that's the stipulations. The special rules that that gives you is one, the Hive Tyrant Synapse is extended by six inches um, and the Hive Tyrant must stay on the ground so it can only go into jump monstrous creature um, it can only go into gliding not swooping um, and that is the only stipulations as far as the formation um, now this formation in principle seems very simple but there's a lot to it that makes it an extremely effective formation now, what what you need for this formation is you need to work out how you're going to take your Tyrant. Now, this is an opportunity to take your Tyrant as much more a combat-based Hive Tyrant. Something that we used to like to do in the old Codex, but it's a lot harder to do now. Um, whereas before, you'd have your Tyrant Guard, and they would be your guards, um, and you'd have to walk him forward and that was kind of the only way to kind of make him effective in a combat scenario. Now with this formation you can use the gargoyles very much to shield the Hive Tyrant to get him into combat and then he can do his stuff. Um, now the way to do that is making sure that you use a large amount of gargoyles, there's no point in using minimum amounts because generally you're going to find that those gargoyles are going to get wiped out pretty quickly. Um, when I first started using this uh, formation I have been using it um, wrongly and actually assuming that the gargoyles would get a jinx save um, and one of, the, one of my subs um, actually uh, mentioned that that's not the case and reading it back you can see it's not so it's even more reason why you need to take a fair amount of gargoyles to make sure you give that tyrant a shield because the rules do stipulate he can never fly he would always have to be a ground tyrant so take enough uh, gargoyles to start off with also with those gargoyles you can you can upgrade those gargoyles now they're probably, if you just want to use them as a meat shield, you want to keep them cheap and cheerful and then just put them as many in as you can because then you've got the ability to multi-assault things, you can be a real nuisance, give the rest of your swarm a real big shield. So probably keeping them basic is the way to go, um, but you can add upgrades to them, um, give them adrenal glands, give them toxin sacs and it can make them a very effective unit themselves. But bearing in mind they are going to get absolutely blown to pieces as you go up the, up the battlefield, it's probably not worth it. Now the key bit and the exciting bit and the thing that I've been experimenting in heavily is your Hive Tyrant himself. Now you've got a lot of tools that you can use on that Hive Tyrant. Now the easy thing to do would be give him the Bone Sword, Lash Whip, which is going to make him a, a, a combat beast. But actually, we have some new toys in this new newer codex. It's been around a while, but the newer codex, which is the Tyranid artifacts. Now we've got lots of artifacts in there that actually aren't amazing when you look at them briefly. But actually, when you team them up and you put them into this formation, you get a really, really strong combination. So what I do is I stick the um, Reaper of Obliterex, the Young Girl Factor. Um, and I always forget the name of it, the, the one that will give you your preferred enemy if you destroy a unit. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, so, and what, the ha what happens is by giving them those upgrades and also by giving that tyrant adrenal glands, what you're doing is then really upping that ability, particularly the Reaper of Rex, because what that will give you is a plus one strength. It will give you the ability to instant death on sixes, 
and it will give you the ability to make your initiative a lot higher so that is great it also gives you shred which means you can reroll your wounds which is epically good um, so that's really fantastic that works incredibly well now the young girl factor will give you a better armor saving combat it will also give you plus one strength and it, it, it it's so you can choose one or the other of those each combat round so um, that's really really handy as well because particularly the strength one it means that extra strength is going to then stack with the with, with the reaper of obliterex and make it even more effective you chuck the adrenal glands on as well and you're suddenly looking at a hive tyrant that is now um, strength 9 on the charge which is able to deal with pretty much anything at all and with his shield of gargoyles that also are pretty much wounding anything on 6 you know it's it, it's a very very effective combination so that's what, that's what I do, it becomes very expensive but actually it's a unit that's very very effective now also someone commented and, and it's something else that, that, that I've used previously is you is you can also um, daisy chain these these gargoyles so you can get them within range of of your malanthropes, your venomthropes by, by using enough of them so you can keep them in range in their 6 inch range to give them all shrouded obviously that has a massive effect on your hive tyrant because if you jinx then you potentially get your 2 plus but even for the gargoyles you know just that extra bit of cover save potentially could be a life saver if you're going against things with, with a bit of AP so that's how you kind of use a formation you use it very much as something to draw fire particularly as it's a big unit that's sweeping forward and that's causing trouble it's going to draw the fire and it's going to buy time for your other units to go up the battlefield and to be able to get in the positions where you want them to get into so it works extremely effectively um, so so anyway guys that is the sky tyrant swarm formation really really good um, let me know whether you've tried it um, and how well you've got on with it um, and drop them down in the comments below. Um, thanks so much for, for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.